This is the Army's latest armoured warrior, the Leopard 2A4 main battle tank. Weighing in at 55 tonnes, this German-made tank is a warrior on track. Join me, Carissa Seat, as we check out this machine and meet the people who operate them. These men from the 48th Battalion Singapore Armoured Regiment are the SAF's pioneer batch of Leopard Tank trainees. They began their training in August 2008, fresh out of basic military training. They were trained to be proficient in their individual roles as tank gunners, loaders and drivers. Tank crews also underwent gunnery simulation training at the Turret Crew Trainer, a life-sized simulator of the Leopard's turret. What's really interesting about this simulator is its open concept, giving the trainer a bird's eye view of what the trainees are doing. Gun, up, on, fire, on the way. Up to eight tank crewmen can be trained at any one time. The open concept of the simulator means that they're plugged into what's going on around them, so they're mindful not to repeat mistakes made by their peers. They'll be training in this um, environment which is safe and it's very realistic uh, because each of them will have the, their own roles to play and uh, they're able to interact with each other, know what to do when uh, what happens. So this in terms prepare them as a crew for the real thing on the tank itself. The SAF took delivery of the first Leopard 2A4 tanks in June 2008. The refurbished tanks will gradually replace the Army's SM1 tanks. Young and quick on the uptick, the tank crews were ready to put their newly acquired skills to the test by September 2008. They conducted their first live firing at the Sungai Gedong training area both in the day and in the cover of night. The next phase saw the tank crews validating their skills in actual operational scenarios. This is Shorewater Bay Training Area in Queensland, Australia, an area about three times the size of Singapore. The vast space enabled the tank crews to carry out higher level drills and maneuvers involving up to four tanks. Uh, our primary purpose of uh of participating in Exercise Wallaby is actually to um, conduct a tactical training from uh, crew to um, dual tank and up to uh, platoon competencies in both uh, manoeuvre as well as live firing. We can only do up to a single tank battle course in Singapore, but here in Wallaby we actually have so much of space, uh, we can have all four tanks manoeuvring at the same time. This allows uh, the drivers and the commanders to practice all the different formations that would not be possible in Singapore. So this gives them a better feel of um, how the tank is supposed to perform in an actual battle and hence it uh, enhances their operational readiness. Working hand in glove with other SAF units, armoured warriors led the ground assault during an integrated systems live firing exercise in Exercise Wallaby 2008. Within a short span of just five months, um, and with only about six tanks that are just they have just been delivered to us, they have uh, managed to achieve, you know, basic competency. And then uh, here in Wallaby, with all the space and time, uh, we were able to build on what they have learned in Singapore, uh, build on their skills that they've acquired. Live firing really is a real test of the crew's abilities to operate the tank, and as well as uh, to perform in operations. The tank crews had the opportunity to fire the Leopard's range of armaments, a fully stabilized 120mm cannon, two 7.62mm machine guns and 16 smoke launches. A commander can lock on to the target at the push of a button once he identifies a target with the sighting system. While the gunner engages this target, the commander can scan for the next target, enabling the Leopard to pick up hostile targets faster. 
The tank's fully stabilized weapon system allows it to fire with accuracy even when it's on the move. Well, as a gunner, I have to control the main gun in uh, the control handle in various modes. And in Wallaby, we do firing on the move. And after many days of live firing, uh, we gain a lot of confidence in engaging the targets on the move. It was challenging as the loader you have to load around on the move and remedy any problems that may occur with the weapon systems like the MG, MG has a IA or something like that then you have to remedy on the spot. The Leopard 2A4 tanks are capable of moving at speeds of up to 60 kilometers per hour even in the rugged outback terrain. Yeah, they say we feel a lot of more confidence in terms of maneuvering at night or in the days and high speed or low speed. Because you get to drive at almost 10 feet for each exercise. The mobility and firepower come wrapped in a multi-layered armor. This gives the tank crews and their workhorse better protection from anti-tank weapons. An important upgrade to be introduced soon to the Leopards is the battlefield management system. When fitted, tank crews can exchange information with other SAF units to hunt down and destroy enemy fires. Once Leopard is equipped with a battlefield management system, it becomes the Army's larger network of, uh, of sensors and shooters to um, allow the Army to both dominate on the ground through close contact via the Leopard tanks as well as via the air through the tank helicopters. In the meantime, even as tank crews continue to hone their skills, they've begun their training as a company. And the training would culminate in a live firing exercise overseas real soon.